हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर नेहा पाटनी एंड आई एम रेडी विथ न्यू सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ना नेक्स्ट आई वुड बी अपलोडिंग वीडियोज ऑन अल्ट्रा वायलेट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो दिस इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी विच इज ऑल्सो वाइडली एप्लीकेबल इन डिफरेंट ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड साइंस फिजिक्स एस्ट्रोनॉमी एट्सेट्रा सो लेट अस डिस्कस अल्ट्रा वायलेट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन डिटेल history of spectroscopy because we want to know what this particular word means so before that we uh, should know how does it came into existence there were series of experiments which were responsible for the emerging of this word spectra or spectroscopy the first one was uh, due to newton he was working on some experiment and he first time brought the word spectrum to describe the rainbow of colors followed by one more uh, experiment by joseph uh, and then he actually first discovered electromagnetic waves uh, mr william and he was just working on a prism and he was just measuring the temperature changes when different wavelength of light pass through it and he discovered infrared light that time he came to know that it is uh, of very much energy and since then spectroscopy came into existence and it is having significant roles in many branch of science and engineering so spectroscopy actually is derived from the word spectrum which uh, literally means rainbow of colors and it deals uh, with that spectrum only now let us see uh, how a spectrum is related with spectroscopy so obviously the spectroscopy is a branch of science which is study this uh, kind of phenomena so let us see the definition now in this uh, first definition you can see that there is a presence of interaction but the interaction would be of matter with light further the definition was refined and they specified that the radiation or the light which you call it as is emr which is electromagnetic radiation so they said that it is a branch of science that deals with study of interaction of emr with matter that means if a certain light or you may say that let's say emr falls on particular sample you have a sample here and the light falls on the sample now this is the study of what happens next when the light is falling on the sample what happens to the sample that is spectroscopy because we also observe that we if we uh, absorb some kind of light if we feel or observe we start dancing or we start reacting to it that oh there is so much of heat oh it is so chill right so when there is some kind of temperature changes we do understand that similarly the sample also has to react in a certain manner and that manner that study would be the uh, spectroscopy because that we are going to estimate using a detector so we need to connect the particular sample to a detector and we have to find out what is happening inside the sample so all about interaction of a particular matter with emr electromagnetic radiation i'll tell you why this light is uh, renamed by electromagnetic radiation there is a reason behind it but then using emr is a be, uh, better uh, definition to use because it, this radiation has both of the nature it is having wave nature and at the same time particle nature right like right now in terms of particle you may quantize the energy in the form of h nu but the radiation contains uh, both of the thing wave and particle so spectroscopy is nothing but that branch which deals with interaction of matter with light so we just have to observe we have to throw light on a sample and we have to observe what happens when the light falls on it and that is with the help of detector we'll be able to understand uh, the concept so i think i'm clear here that spectroscopy is basically used to find out that interaction and uh, that is how you will be able to understand the atomic or molecular structure of a particular sample because every uh, sample is you know contains molecules and it may contain atoms 
and then further if you go down to it is having electron or it is having nucleus etc etc so based on this kind of interaction based on the things received here we can uh, find out which kind of structure the molecule is having uh, let's say if you have uh, taken a radiation and it is falling on the sample and then you are further detecting it so now uh, if i have to fall let's say around 3 to 10 nm uh, wavelength i am just uh, passing from here and then uh, in the detector you have to plot the intensity of the graph with respect to wavelength uh, uh, of the radiation so when in starting you are allowing only 3 nm to pass the detector is showing like this means there is no change but you will observe let's say at around 5 nm the molecule absorbs that light that h nu is enough to do something in the matter and that is um, where you will see a drip in the intensity sudden decrease in the intensity and that you call it as a peak and with the help of this wavelength we will be able to understand that certain wavelength has caused something either absorption etc and that is how you will be able to understand the structure so i am just uh, giving it in the brief right now that what do you understand by spectroscopy but in the coming lectures i would be covering each and every aspect in detail so let us go to the next thing which is very important like what is the principle of spectroscopy it's obviously the interaction of matter with light but then which kind of interaction based on that you can classify it as a two type absorption spectroscopy and the second one is emission spectroscopy so let us go back to absorption spectroscopy when i uh, say that the light is going to fall on a sample right and then i said that the sample contains molecules atoms and all so what this light is going to do on the sample i hope you remember there was energy uh, level diagrams wherein you were having the excited states like ground state and excited state and all so now if this energy is sufficient enough to uh, give charge to a particular electron this electron will absorb that energy and will jump to the next higher excited state so from the ground state to the excited state it has taken some energy and that energy is uh, equal to that energy so uh, not all wavelengths or not all energy radiations are going to be absorbed but of certain wavelength or certain energy will be absorbed and when this takes place there will be certain transition the electron will jump from one state to another state and that is absorption spectroscopy so this is nothing about measurement of absorption of electromagnetic radiation at the same time it may happen in a reverse manner that the molecule the electron uh, coming from higher excited state to lower excited state and in between it releases a energy and which is again quantized in the form of h nu and then that time it would be emission so basically whenever matter is going to interact with light it either absorbs the light or it emits the light and based on that the spectroscopy is of two types absorption spectroscopy and emission spectroscopy now these are nothing but the examples of the type of absorption spectroscopy now when i say it is absorption now depending on the uh, energy like if uh, the energy is very high that it can go to the level of atoms or if the energy is quite low and it is only interacting with the molecule the spectroscopy can be further classified as atomic spectroscopy and molecular spectroscopy the name here itself suggest here the interaction would be at atomic level and here the interaction would be at molecular level so definitely the energy uh, state you have to find out like if the energy is of high intensity then only it can uh, go down to atomic level and if the energy is low intensity the wavelength would be high but the energy would be low it will uh, be called as ultraviolet or uh, different different types of spectroscopy but molecular spectroscopy and then going to the next one is emission spectroscopy as i said it is related to the emission of a particular uh, radiation so just to summarize uh, here only what uh, we did is uh, we were on a spectroscopy and then we uh, saw the definition of spectroscopy first that it is basically 
the interaction of matter with electromagnetic radiation and then we saw the principle that how does the interaction takes place and then we divided in into the types of spectroscopy based on that we said that it is of two types either like uh, further divided as uh, molecular and atomic but that is one of the type which is absorption so the first type is absorption and the second type is emission so what we said was if the absorb the radiation is absorbed the spectroscopy would be absorption if the radiation is of low intensity energy it will only affect the molecule so the spectroscopy would be molecular in nature if it affects the interaction uh, is there with the atom it is known as atomic spectroscopy and second time if it is all about emission of uh, the radiation the interaction is emission then you call it as a emission spectroscopy so i think i am clear uh, uh, with this uh, concept and th i think it is very easy for you to now understand that uh, what is the spectroscopy in very brief i told you that how a matter is going to interact and then uh, how have you classified it in the coming uh, video i'll be discussing the electromagnetic radiations uh, and the spectrum so keep watching and keep liking thank you so much